Is Google Gemini better than ChatGPT? Stay tuned to find out. Hi, I'm Alex Camilio, and welcome to TLDW. Today, we're checking out the Real Estate Technology Institute's webinar hosted by Craig Grant titled The Google Gemini Grand Tour. Speaking of RETI, huge shout out to them for being a great partner and letting us use these videos. So let's dive in. The first big takeaway is that Google now has a major AI platform that goes toe to toe with ChatGPT called Google Gemini. And if you've been hanging around the AI world for the last several months, but not really keeping on top of things, just be aware that Google did a major name change about three months ago. It used to be called Google Bard, B-A-R-D. And then they did a little bit of research and found out nobody liked the name Bard. So they got rid of the name Bard. So all of Google's AI tools are now called Google Gemini. Okay, so again, if you're familiar with the name Bard, just get rid of that one, wipe it out of your mind, and realize Google's whole platform is now called Gemini. And I've been playing with Gemini now for several weeks. It's really cool. It does a lot, almost just anything that ChatGPT does, it does. So if you are familiar or interested in either of the platforms, there's not a huge difference between Gemini and ChatGPT. But I know this leaves you wondering, how is it better than ChatGPT? Which brings me to my next takeaway. It has integrations into a lot of different Google software. So in the Gmail program, you're able to use Gemini to completely write emails from scratch. You can just give it instructions or say reply to this email. It'll do it for you in seconds. It can also use AI to go through and proofread and make spelling changes and recommendations of better wording you can use and stuff like that. In Docs, the Word program, you can also do help me write things and proofread things. In Sheets, we're going to show you this. You can use Google Gemini Advanced inside of Sheets to just say, here's all this data, make charts and graphs out of it, find trends, and a lot of more things. In the Slides program, you're able to use it to create images to go with every one of your slides and also remove backgrounds for pictures, which did not used to exist in Google Slides. And then in Google Meet, there's a lot, which is kind of similar to Zoom, there's a lot of cool functionality you can do with Meet using Gemini Advanced. So we can see Gemini and ChatGPT are neck and neck as a standalone AI, but Google's native integrations take it to a whole new level. Sadly, I can't cover everything in this bite-sized package, but I always like to include my favorite question from the audience, which came in from Scott, and I'm sure a lot of folks are wondering. All right, Scott just asked, can we get it to read our email store and find email for intent, such as marketing, service requests, and sales opportunities? So Scott, as of right now on a computer, you can't do those kinds of things. But one thing they've started rolling out to certain Android devices, which are basically Google Pixel phones and Samsung Galaxy devices, the newest ones, is you can have it literally go through and read your inbox for you, all your unread emails and summarize them and do a lot of cool things. So that's already starting to happen, like what you're asking about is already starting to happen on phones. And soon they'll be adding it onto the computer with Gmail as well. All right. So we've covered some of the main points, but there's one more little tidbit from Craig that I think we all need to hear. I always say when you use free accounts, you're the product, right? They're giving you something for free, but they're taking something in exchange. With a paid account, everything in your account is private and have much better security and encryption. Hopefully this has helped you today, but there's so much more where this came from. So check out reti.us for the full webinar. Plus, hit the like and subscribe down below for more webinars in a bite-sized package and let us know in the comments if there's a webinar you'd like added to TLDW. Thanks, everyone, and as always, best wishes for your success.